All right, so if you're going to go off to the area he talked about, you try and find um, the the boar, then over here, he said, uh, over in the Muckrakers district, there were a bunch of them. So let me just pop you into the map. Mm, uh, something else uh, we didn't consider is uh, we need the tusk of the boar. But we also need the boar alive. How are we gonna reconcile that? You don't. Why, why you do we don't, need the boar alive? Yeah, you don't need it need alive. alive? The, oh, okay. But the trophy will be damaged, as it will be missing a tusk. So I think what we might. Trophy? Only be able what trophy? What are you talking about? You, you just need the tusk, and but but basically for each one that Let you us kill. Let us Pando. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. So my understanding of what the boss wanted is that he wanted the. The boar trophy, correct? Does he? Oh, I haven't talked to any boss. I remember. I thought that's. Um, I thought the guard mentioned that. Oh, he collects trophies, but I. I don't. He said for his menagerie. That's live animals. Menagerie. Yes, so that's what I was. That's what I was talking about with the live thing. I mean, we just say, "Oh no, it got damaged in a fight." Oops. Well, we're just getting a tusk. A a tusk is more than just. It got damaged in a fight. It's mighty, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hollow little one. It's It'll really... look very purposeful. Well, it, it certainly would be unique if more with only one task. I'm just wondering, these boars are quite plentiful out here. I would have imagined he's, it's not, is it Grimbolts? Well, we're looking I'm for a rare boar that we boar? need to, to lure out oh, anyway, boar. so. Yeah, not a normal, but a red no. crested one. Maybe we can find two. We do have two portions of cheese. Maybe we could pull both tusks out and then tell him it's a rare female tuskless one. <laughs> I like that. You know, if you want to convince him of that, then <laughs> I've uh, already surgery? several times at this point. <laughs> okay. It's going to live a good life indoors, so it won't need to fight, right? I mean, a lot yeah, of people, when they have a menagerie, like with snakes and whatever, they will take the venom out, they will defang and declaw them. Kevin, are you capable of doing the operation? To make Maybe. it look like a female? As a druid. Well, not look like a female. I mean, it might be a female. Just, you know, we just tell them. I assume he doesn't know that That's much the... about boars. Should we cross that bridge as we get there? The yeah. I'm not so doing any forest might... castrations, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> um, Would you be oh, capable of doing one, it? That's Have a you weird got a question that I'm not going to answer. <laughs> Do you know where? Well, where are we right now? So, knows. so you are. Um, are you on the this the same screen as I am with the the uh yes. the yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So what, what, do we see? what you'll have to do from from this point onwards, once you can see that stuff, is to run a survival check to look for boar tracks. Yeah, I can do that. Will do. Okay, you uh you. I all notice a hell of a lot of boar activity um, around this place, but you're looking for, for the red-crested one, which you assume is much bigger um, and meaner than that one. So you find the biggest possible boar tracks um, and everything else. You look down, you find some, some boar um, dropping to stuff, you give, give it a little poke, see it's still warm, little taste, you know, the, all that kind of tracker stuff and everything else. And it tells you that, you know, just it's this it's moved up to kind of like like this uh area or so so you've got to figure out a place where you're going to place your cheesy trap to kind of lure this ball out uh to um and that seems like like a, a, a fairly sensible place um to to go and do with that uh, it didn't highlight on my end is it that the little plateau high ground that you click? uh it's just a ping so i see it yeah okay. try to focus ping Got okay. it, got it. There you go. Um, that looks like a good spot. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So if you head that up there, and oh, what should I make you roll for this one to see whether you make a good trap or not? It's a good... Uh, I, guess it's survival, I, think. I guess it's not... Yeah, it's another survival, another survival test. Now, you only have, like, two pieces of cheese, so I guess you got to decide amongst you who's going to make it. 
I mean, nature. Is a pretty good well, list, right? Nature and survival and plants are my thing, but survival is also. I'm looking at not survival. I said Druid to live basically in a forest. Uh huh. What that be in like? In tune with the animals and all that. Yep. Yeah. yeah I can definitely you... do you one trap. You sure? I could do both if uh, you want. What my do you commander reckon? taught me this I trick think one time. We only need um, one trap for now. <laughs> You'd uh, wrap the cheese in like this, just under a bunch of sticks, like Let's a little do house. One at a time. Um, Sorry, Chet, what yeah. were you saying about your commander's trick? We should make a little shelter and then put the put the cheese within the shelter. So that way, if anything goes in, if a boar, pig, rats, rabbits go in, they can't. They they they're looking into darkness as they're munching on the cheese. That makes it easier for us to sneak up on it. You do know how big a boar can get. We got plenty of time. Yeah, this, this no, is this no, 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 good. Just to just to clarify, you're making something which is closer to a law than anything else. So you will still have to, you know, fight this boar uh, to to either subdue it and capture it alive, if that's what you're planning to do, or to uh, kill it and take its tusks. Yeah, before we start. Kill uh, with the trap and and the fighting and the doing of the, the of a, of a possibly a red crested boar. Do we have a rope? Yes. Okay. We got a whole bunch of climbing gear. What's in my pack? I started digging in my backpack. I think at least two of you have Dungeoneer's packs. I've got I had a basic adventure pack, one. which seems to be bedroll, mess kit, rations, rope, 50 feet, tinderbox, torch, and water skin. Would so the rope be enough? into his backpack and, like, dumps 50 feet of hemp and rope on the ground. Yeah, that looks... Should do it? Yeah, I should do it. I just wanted to confirm beforehand, no, uh, because now would be the best point in time to find out we have no rope. <laughs> yeah, you, you you definitely have have rope. Yeah, we have a hundred feet of rope, if not more. You probably have. Uh, I think everyone has rope. No, I do not. You're the only person who doesn't have rope. Did you not start with like some kind of pack? Yeah, but my packs don't have rope. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, that so did they come with board. anything useful though? What's in your pack? Oh, I have candles. Brilliant! You can set the mood whilst we're building this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it starts gathering sticks. <laughs> Is that what chat has to do in this situation? Assuming... Well, what's our plan? Like, we're gonna lure it. I can entangle, which should definitely slow it down, and then what? Like, if we smack it in the face, we can knock it down, but we gotta make sure we don't damage the tusks too much. Yeah, we've got a... Do we have anything that can, like, if it eats the cheese, can we, do we have, like, a sleeping? I do not. Like, just whacking it until it dropped spell. over, and then we just get the tusks off of it. I can, we can uh, knock it out, most we, can knock it out. We need to sedate it somehow. You I can... would like to look around and see if there's any berries that might possibly put something to sleep, or at least make it drowsy. Oh, good, good, good option. Yeah, go for that. Nature? Uh-huh. Survival? Uh, let's go with nature. Medicine? Medicine is better. Let's say from your inherent medical knowledge, your nature check will tell you which of those are good uh, to eat or not. Medicine is really for treating. So you're saying use the plus zero instead of the plus two? Yeah. Yep, God that's right. It. I can well, check it do the well anyway. just for fun. <laughs> oh boy. Daddy one. That is a nat one. Uh, not only, I see nothing. Yeah, not only do you not find um, any <laughs> any uh, you know, anesthetic uh, type stuff, you actually end up putting your hands into um, a bunch of poison ivy, and you are I now do it. <laughs> itchy. That is going to well, let's 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 factor that in as you for the next hour or so you will be distracted in your kind of like persuasion charisma chatty rolls stuff. Um, oh, I know why the lads who fell into a bush of those before. 
Yeah. So with your um, nature rolls, no um, question. Is, what's your What's your medicine? Mine. Uh, yep. What a medicine roll. Uh, well, well, what is your medicine overall? Like, what is your score for it? Five. Five. Okay. So, so yeah, I'll I'll, I'll take I'll, I'll take that into account that you probably would know which are med medicinal herbs because if you had no medicine knowledge, I would say that you found a shitload of berries. You just don't know what they are. Um, but here, you actually find some stuff that you you understand um, what they what they do. Uh, yeah, you do find a, f a few that um, will make this uh, boar not only kind of like uh, sleepy but relatively compliant and um, and uh, drowsy. Yay, I found some berries. I did not touch itchy stuff. <laughs> cool. Um, so are you going to make this uh, trap? Um, or, or I'm going to make one gonna... trap, definitely. Okay. Yeah, start taking the other cheese. Yeah, start with from... one, yeah. Start Do not eat that cheese. It might be for another yeah. trap or when I get hungry. Yeah, because again, there's no guarantee that this, this individual ball will be useful to you. Yeah, we might, like, if there's loads of boars, but there's only one or two, or however many red fancy ones, then we might trap the wrong boar, like, a lot. Yeah, does anybody here have, like, a ranged weapon? I have a dart. Ooh. That yeah, just, so like, it shows us case... so. <laughs> Should oh, we make, like, a sleeping dart? <laughs> Yeah, maybe. No, you can you make we can make a sleeping dart and about a crossbow. If if a, if a normal boar, a not red crested one, approaches, you can just shoot it. So it wouldn't waste. I mean, we could just let it go. Not if it tries to eat my cheese. <laughs> How about we hang the cheese out of reach of a boar, but still, I mean, this stuff stinks. It'll still draw them, right? Yeah, that's smart. I've heard uh, pigs can't look uh, can't look up in the sky. What? <laughs> they can't look up. We're willing to watch that happen. Let's just see if the boars start <laughs> jumping around a rope flip piece of cheese. Where's the nearest sturdy tree? Can we just look? Can I just look around? Yeah, there's, there's one right, the right, right in front of you, right there. Brilliant. So then he grabs a block of cheese, ties a ties a reliable knot around it, and then like throws part of the rope over the the branch. There's a branch somewhere that it can like just hang over and. Yeah, can't be like jumped up. This is a check. I want to assist somehow. Yeah, I want want a survival, yeah, yeah. survival like, check, and you can you can assist. Which just means I'm, I'm motioning to Camilla because like she's the tallest one in the party, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I I like hand her hand her over the rope. And you so can also lift me the up, branch. Lift me up like, with your um, hands so I can reach up there as well. Wait, is that we? Wait, who said that? Yeah, because you, you said you use <laughs> lift the, lift the halfling. Get higher. Oh right. Okay, so chat hands. Um, I here's the block of cheese. You go for it, my guy. Is Camilla strong enough to lift a halfling? How much does a does a halfling weigh? He weighs 180 I'm, I'm pounds. Kind of fat, but so I weigh 180 pounds of fat. Uh, Camilla, what's uh, your, wait, what's what is 180? Can we just build this trap. I'm not picking people up for no reason. Yeah, I want a survival check for the for the building of the chat trap, please. Yeah, can you uh remind me how to do an assist roll? Uh, essentially, we're just just gonna uh, treat it like advantage, so you just roll again. Yeah, roll twice. <laughs> Whoops! I think I see what Chet is doing, and then I push him away and go, "You know what? I'm gonna do this." I like that. <laughs> go whatever for the it. hell, Chet, Chet, whatever you're doing, stop it. I will take All over. All yours. <laughs> Nineteen. Okay, you, you successfully make um this this uh pongy uh cheese trap. The cheese is securely held between this lattice um of branches, uh where you've got plenty of airflow um around with a rope from it where you're going to hang it from uh from the tree. And uh I you I don't apart from if you're going to hold Alphonse up to push him up into that tree, I'll need a strength check on that. Um, otherwise, then it would be a dexterity one to kind of throw over the loop of the um, the tree branch. Well, I can try to do it to, to uh, pick him up. Uh, Not from down there, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> 80 odd kilograms. Mm hmm. Quite heavy. Yeah. I still don't understand why we're lifting up Alphonse. 
Uh, just to get to we the already, Didn't we just throw the rope over the branch? I yeah, like I that's thought we really made the thing. Quite high. I mean, boars <laughs> can jump like several feet in the air. You, you've made the, yeah, you've made the thing and you've decided to put it up in the tree so that other boars can't just run along and eat it. So they'll be attracted to it and then you can go jump on it and hogtie it or kill it or do whatever you like. Right, well, so we're calling making the like, trap oh, and setting the trap as separate things, is that right? Just because you tried to you complicated it by telling me this extra step, yeah. I didn't do that! <laughs> Wait, I think Alphonse did! I thought we just, th I thought we just uh, stringed it up and then put it over the branch, that's it. Was another... Yeah, go away, Alphonse, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, then, <laughs> then then just a dexterity check. Bard, go play some music or whatever. Yeah, then I just want to... I think the bagpipes will drive them away, actually. Yeah, good point. Sure. I just wanted a dex check of you trying to throw it over this branch to make sure it gets there. Oh my god. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, oh. it's, it's, again, it's 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 not it's not ideal, but it's the, it's good enough. Um, you know, you 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 don't want you don't want to want to really stress this thing out too much. And if the wind really kicks up, it'll probably fall down. But for now, it, it's it's good enough. Um, all right nice job camilla cool um Thank you. so do you want to put yourself somewhere just 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 out, out, out of reach so you can watch it and then jump on uh you know Bory and mcborson when they decide uh to arrive um standing on the other side of the tree probably not a great idea is that a bush that i'm in can i do like Am I like covered? <laughs> Do I need to check that? I would say where where everyone else has gone is probably probably good, but you could stay there uh, I need to as do well. Some measurements. I'm assuming there's bushes. I can't see on them. Is it? I assume so. I was just oh, yeah. about to do that. Oh, my range is 90 okay. feet anyway. Okay, so I'm waiting here in case the boar is the right one and it tries to escape and we don't get it. So I can hit it with Entangle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you, you've been waiting here for 20 minutes now. 30 minutes. 40. All sudden. Hey guys, I really need to go uh, nature calls. I'm just going to go over down there, okay? Uh, the the oh, trailer wait. pops up. <clears throat> is that, yeah, is that, is that for a little sniff? Coming along uh, below, and he's decided, he's like, okay, yeah, he's interested in this. Can I do a check to see if it's the one we want? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Survival? Yep. I got a 20. There, okay, yep, you can sell. This is, this is a red-crested ball. Oh, um, oh my god, that's it. From the angle you're looking at, you know, our send onwards, you can't see the conditions uh, of its sus. They may be, they may be good, they may be not be, um, but it is the right type, at least. Out of character, did we prepare the dart? We did not. We did you said not. you were the going to the sleeping thing. No, I don't think we did. I mean, you've been sat in this bush for forty minutes. I, I assume that if you talked about it beforehand, you could. We can count this as you've prepared okay. the dart. Oh, okay. Who was supposed to do it and who's got the dart? Uh, it doesn't have to be a dart. It can just be like a solution that goes on either a dart or an arrow. Got a okay, crossbow. But... I, made the, I made the, the medicine. Arrow. And I think... You have to like throw me your vial as <laughs> from the other bush. <laughs> We're so well prepared. <laughs> Yay. I told you all my plan. So like Chet's just in the bush, he try and catches Elduin's uh Elduin's glance. And like like does a bunch of hand gestures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So like Chet's not hearing anything from Elduin, so he starts gesturing larger. Oh, I'm throwing uh wait, no no no, wait. Chet already has stuff. Don't you already uh, wait? Out of character, you do, you already have the medicine. Wait, don't, uh, don't start on the ball. <laughs> oh, tell me to hush. And I keep um, beckoning, is, is, as if like asking him to throw something to me. 
Camilla's going to cast Entangle because she's sick of this shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you? Is that just an instant or? Okay, it's a DC twelve uh, strength save. So yeah, McBorson. Let's see uh, whether or not. Nope. Or is entangled. Uh, roll initiative, please. I'm also going to mark on the ground where the entangle hit. This might take me a minute. Interesting. Chet's one isn't showing up in turn order. I think is yeah, that... do I need to do it again? Because I forgot to, yeah, click, to click your token. Yeah, you have to click your token. Or can you do that manually, Kendo? Uh, I'll, 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 do, I'll do it manually, because um, I, I know what your, your things are. I shall uh, remember next time. So Camilla's team. Okay, so Alphonse is up first. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, if you guys can see that red square, that's where the entangle is. Got it. Does it affect us moving over it? No. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. then it doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, all, all it will do for you is difficult terrain, but, um, you know, it, that's only half movement in the area. You're all close enough that it probably won't really affect you. Got it. Um, Alphonse is up, is up first. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what I, what I should do. That's just seen the entangled cast and he's like panicking to unsheath his blade. <laughs> okay, that's where it is now. I forgot how to math, and for some reason I thought these are four feet, but they're five, right? Yeah, they're five feet. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll cast Bane, I guess. Uh, okay, what does Bane do? <laughs> Uh, three creatures that you can see within a range must make charisma saving throws. Whenever a target fails a saving throw, makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends. The target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. Okay. Um, I don't think a ball is, uh, boy is particularly charismatic. So it's yeah, probably because he, he might be the coolest boy in, in the herd. Yeah, maybe it's beautiful. Uh, it has a charisma <laughs> of five. Um, Maybe it's beautiful in its own way. Yeah, you should want to want to hit that. A B A B. All balls are beautiful. <laughs> you just just hit just hit that on um thingy. There you go. Awesome. Uh, so must make a charisma saving throw. Alrighty then. Um, hey, why are you not showing me the correct so thing? I can be able to do any actions. <laughs> uh, it yeah, that's so safe. That guys damn. Like I said, the mo uh, the coolest boar in school. Uh -huh. The coolest boar in the world. It is the boar's turn, so let's see if he can get himself out of um, Entangle. Uh, cannot. So he is immobilized still, I believe. So it's like Bart boar because he has no strength but uh, full of charisma? Uh, yeah, he, he's got 13 strength and only 5 charisma. Uh, so, like yep, Camilla's son. Um, I think... Can we hold turns? Is that a thing? Yeah, you can hold turn. Like, we basically, it's pretty much stuck right now, so we just want to zap it with the sleepy juice, right? Uh-huh. Well, we could do that, or we could just tie it up. Yeah, you can go with your unarmed attack and attempt to wrestle it down. All right, I'm going to do that, if I can reach. Uh, you should be able to. No, you're just outside. 
Oh, no, no, you can get that square. Yeah, fine, yeah, I'll okay. cut that. All right, I got my rope. I'm going to attempt to wrestle it down and tie its legs. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to need a, a strength check. Versus Boar's strength check. No! Uh, what was that you got? I got a uh, three plus three. I got a six. He got eleven. Uh, he he. You did not manage to wrestle the boar. Uh, Elduin. Yeah, you have to click us in the turn order so it does. Uh, so we get to the next one. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right. I'm not even in the initiative order. So of course, um, can I split my movement and do a bonus action between? Yep. <coughs> I'm uh, while uh, passing Chad, I'm giving him the medicine. Uh, okay. Walk to uh, walk to the ball and be like, I'm gonna try to wrestle that down. Uh you don't have a um, uh, you don't have rope, do you? Yeah, I'm taking the rope of Camilla because she's still having it in her hands. That would be an action. Oh damn! Okay. Um, let me think. I'm still trying to wrestle it and hold it there for a sec. Yeah, it would be, it would be, it would be, a, it would be a thing. A non-lethal attack's a choice you can do. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna go with a non-lethal attack and bunk its torso. I'm specifically saying torso. Yeah. Punch it in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> Does that hit? Wait, Warhammer did it. Whoa. Uh, that is his head. Nope, his AC is of 11. Whoa. God damn! <laughs> they hide. Chad just watching the Warhammer bounce off of the ball and like, wow, that's a big ball. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Shet's turn. That boy charisma. Shet's super impressed. Uh, let's see, let's see. So, like, I've got the solution in my hand, right? I guess. Uh, instead, what he's gonna do, like, uh, Chet's just gonna run up with his rope and, and try to wrestle down the ball and hogtie it. Oh my god, Chet. Okay. He made sleepy juice. That's, that's... I oh, I we need to administer it. Yeah, couldn't you just feed yeah, it's it? It's gonna take way? an action to do it, so I'm, I think I might as well. In the in the in the in the heat of the moment, he's, I'm just gonna run up and try to wrestle the ball like both of you have. Oh, <laughs> How do I move? <laughs> I can't seem to move my token. Uh, make sure you're on the token layer and you're using the actual pointy There's pointy. Yeah, make sure you're on select and not ruler like I was for like five Got minutes it. last week. Yeah. Okay. And I do it. Is there an action? A strength check, right? Strength check. Yep. Up. Go. Ah, oh, frick! Ten. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think. The oh, Super no. Bowl. Yeah, he, he, he oh, he's, he's strong. He's, 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 he's not, he's not uh, going anywhere. You're trying to wrestle a big, angry pile of money. That, he came here, he wanted cheese, and now he's getting attacked by people. It's, it's not happy. Um, so Camilla uh, is going to say, "Feed it the sleepy juice." <laughs> Up next is uh, Alphonse. I'm not sure I can. Can I feed it the sleepy juice in one turn? I'm not if sure. If you I have can. it. I mean, I've got I the don't sleepy have it. juice. Yeah, exactly. I'd have to take <laughs> it and then do it. That would be an action. Hmm. What else do you have? Um. You Alphonse, could, what are you doing? You could offer bard, uh, bardic inspiration to someone. What are you doing over there? Yes, Come help I us. Could, I could. I mean, he's a bard if he wants to play the bagpipes. <laughs> Is there any time to be playing the bagpipes? <laughs> we'll definitely hear it here. Listen, ta tactical bagpipes might be the thing. Yeah, I should have done that. Battle last. music. Okay, I, I will use. Uh, I'll, I'll use bardic inspiration. Uh, who are you giving it to? Chet. Uh, it's not Chet. Yeah, Chet. Okay, Dux. So, Chet, you now have Bardic Inspiration. That means you can roll uh, a one d six and add those points to any roll that you uh, have. Oh, sweet banger tune, mate! 
it is now the the boar's turn. Um and you are in range of it attacking, especially as many of you are grabbing uh, this thing. So it doesn't have to try and escape anymore. Um, it's just going to tusk attack um, Chet because you're the last one who grabbed it. Got it. What are the conditions? Um, of being, like, if I'm in grab mode... It's fine. You, you, got... you, you, you didn't, it didn't get through your armor. It only, oh, okay. it only hit with an, attack, with an uh, eight. Got it, got it. So it kind of just glanced off of me. I kind of like, not dodged. Like the Warhammer. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is now Eldwin's uh, turn. Again? Yep. Again? Yeah, so. Uh... Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, it's Camilla's turn. My, it? my bad. Yes, it is because you're 14. I forgot you don't show up in the turn tracker. Can you not manually put me in? I Should? don't. The, 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 the cock wheel between the arrows in the middle. Yeah. There you go. Uh, what it does it? not help. It didn't show you. So, oh, there we go. 14. I can see my name. Read, but the anyway, it doesn't matter. Again. There you go. Like, you're... I'm sure people have played for many years without having to use the roll 20 <laughs> turn order. Yep. You're, you're in there yeah. now. You're in there now. Um, Just skip to Camilla. Okay. Oh, you, you literally can't do anything without it? Wait, it's 28 now? No. No, I can. Ooh. I did rolls with it last time. Change, change the number. Like, there I don't go. understand why we need to use it. Yeah, go. 14. It helps sometimes. Give it a set. Let's go. You've got 30 minutes of the session left. How, how unwell is this boar looking? This boar looks very angry and very healthy. Okay, I'm going to smack it with my stick as a non-lethal attack. Go for it. Yep, that hits. Roll for damage. Uh, six. Okay, Dex. Hand damage. So it's that's like yelling, "Yeah, knock it in the groin." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> down to five, five HP. Um. All right, is... that's my turn done. Cool. Eldrin's turn. Eldrin is thinking. That's like yelling over to Eldrin. This time hit harder! I don't Stranless. think I should hit Stranless. it again. It, again. Might, it might die. But if, I can try. If, you're, if it's going non lethal. back into it. Yeah, if you go non lethally, you can bring it down to zero hit points, and then it'll be unconscious. I'm trying. Uh, I'm hitting it non uh, lethal again in the torso. Shit! That does not hit. I should stop specifying the torso. Maybe that's that's the <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> if I if I would have said I'm hitting it in the tusk, I would have gotten a net twenty with a critical. <laughs> yeah. You are you doing anything else? I can can't really do anything else. Uh. Yeah. No. You you spark an opportunity attack, but it's. Uh, yeah. You could theoretically it. walk away or do something. Yeah, I'm not walking away. I'm staying here and I'm ending my. Darn. Okay. Is so that Alphonse's turn? Oh, not Chet. Oh, yeah, it's my turn, right? Chet's so turn. I'm the one with two oh, initiatives. Yes, yeah. yeah, sorry, yeah, Chet. I cast Bardic Inspiration. No, no, it's, it's Chet's, Chet's turn. Yeah. Uh, while we can use shields, these attack other than you within five feet, you can use your reaction. Hmm. So I thought I'll. I'll God damn it, Chet! Yeah, I've got a D6. Right, I mean, you could stab it with them, I guess. Somehow, if you put it on your weapon. Vial. Is that a thing I can do with the system? I can just, like, sp like splash it onto the blade and then, like, slice out of it? I think that's a bonus action, right? The dip? Uh, yeah, the dip is uh, a bonus action. So, yes, you yes, could do I'll that. Do bonus action? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll like... Pluck open the, the file and like splay it over my blade. Mm -hmm. So it's well drenched now, right? And the sleepy juice. Yep. And then I'll I'll do a I'll do a poke with it, like a, a lunge. Not lunge. You know what I mean? Like stab with the sword. <laughs> uh, okay. having weird problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> non, non lethal. 
Roll, roll to roll to little stab. You're not little it's, stabbing. Yep. Into its butt or something. <laughs> Get applying a very large a violent shot. Squirt it up his bum hole. It's fine. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, just up in the butt, up the butt. Sure. Roll to attack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it the hit DC DC one? Yeah, there we go. Yep. With the weapon that you're using. Ooh. Oh. That is a hit. Nice. So roll, roll for damage. This is with the D6. How do I apply the D6? Uh, it doesn't matter. You stabbed it, and you've it's oh. it's now unconscious. Oh, brilliant! Cool. Right. So how does, how does good job. Right? So uh, now it, your your last check is to do um pick pick someone and do a survival check to check the quality of its tusks if you are so choosing to collect its sus. Yeah, that's what Camilla's going to do right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assist. If that's allowed. I think we'll just go with one person, just because I uh, think. Yeah, this, this thing has uh, two absolutely perfect tusks, so um, for if you wanted to uh, collect them for Ilara, uh, for her quest um, and stuff, you would you have something that would be perfectly useful uh, for that. I'm definitely can, gonna oh, do that. Looks so shiny. Can I check if the cheese is still there? But yeah, the cheese is still there. It, it Very important. Say, do we do we want to try to get a second one? We possibly good After that debacle. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you like doing work for no reward, by all means. Well, I thought we well. We have two tusks here. And if you get a full intact boar from uh, from Mr. Bossman, yeah. I thought we were gonna detusk this one and pass it off as as something else. We I guess we could try. We can try. Can I? Well, while this is happening, I'm just gonna work on the detusking. So, Kando, do you need me to roll for anything? Uh, oh God. Um, yeah, I suppose this is either depending on how you want to go for it, a strength or a dexterity. Uh, check your you, dealer's choice. How you get this out there, whether you're brute forcing it out of its skull or whether you're slowly working it out. Um, Is it not, would it not be a medicine check because it's an operation? You don't have to worry about breaking it. Because I, I guess you it, could go worry. for that as well. Yeah, you go for a medicine check. Uh, it, 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 dealer's choice. Or survival because it's basically harvesting. Yeah, it's it's hunting, harvesting. Yeah. Yeah. So so you kind of like whichever you you want to go for here. There's a, there's a couple options. Survival. All right, survival. Yeah. Yeah. You managed to get nice. uh, the the boar's tusks out with generally meant uh, minor uh, fuss overall. The boar is not going to be in a particularly great shape afterwards. It's got two missing tusks and holes in its face. Um, but the, you have managed to secure them uh, without any major problems. Can I secure the cheese? If you want to, yeah. Yes, I want the cheese. Okay. Camille, you've done this before. Handy work. Well, I thank you. We don't let anything go to waste when we're living in nature. <laughs> I'm going to take these tusks and step away from the untethered sleepy boar. Yeah, I thought we were tying it up. I nope. mean, if you said uh, you were, but you didn't. <laughs> we got to say these things out like loud, man. Chat hog ties. Well, I'm all the way over here. I guess any chat. Yeah, so if, if someone wants to hog tie this thing, so what are you going to do with this boar now? Uh, considering you, you've mutilated it. Um, was it mutilated or was it like a good detusking? Well, you've detusked this thing. It needs those. But it, like, it is mutilated. Yeah. yeah it, it, it is. It was like a careful, humane patch up. You know, she extracted the tusks yeah, nicely it's, it's, and then yeah. it and it, It's okay. Like, will this, if we let it go, it'll probably like, be fine. Will it be able to live in a menagerie? It it needs those, like, to live uh, in the wild. They have an important role in um, not just kind of, like, combat and sparring, but also, you know, digging out uh, things from underground um, and stuff. So uh, it, it's going to be less... Crippled. So it'll actually yeah. be better in captivity than in the wild. It so probably... Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, realistically, yeah. So the humane <laughs> thing to do is to take it to the menagerie anyways. Let's yeah. try taking it to the menagerie. And if that Let's doesn't do that. work... Didn't che uh, Cheese Lady say her um, 
her crush is like a butcher. Oh yeah, true. He is. What? He is. He is indeed a a. Well, he's a chef. Um, and she said that he does amazing things with meat. So you see, if she, so there if are she several said, reasons we need to take it. Yeah, we, need, we, we just take, take it. it. It might be a nice add on to, uh, add on to the, the new knife. So he knows, hey, I got a new knife uh, with with uh, with, uh, with war tusk grip. I'm gonna use this war tusk grip knife to kill the boar that grew the tusk. I mean, it's it's a bit macabre, but it's it's, it's completely valid. <laughs> it's it's pretty fucking dark, yes. But but decide what what you would like to do. Yeah, do you, yeah are you going to try it. and yeah? Are you gonna, you're going to tie it up definitely. Um, are you going to try and take it to um the the hideout? Menagerie. Yeah, we try and take it to the menagerie first. Menagerie I mean, that's the whole reason I left it alive. If we weren't going to do that, then I could have just cut yeah, its head yeah. off, guys. Jeez, make your minds up. <laughs> okay. Right then. Uh, um, what would the check be? Uh, no, no, no. Let's. Let, we don't need to do a check here. Yeah, let's. Okay, let's. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll just describe what's kind of gone here. You, you, you've um, managed to hog tie this large feral hog, um, and you've taken taken a length of um, like a uh, stick from the tree and stuff, and you kind of put it through there. And there's uh, two of you carrying this, you know, in between yourselves. Um, this this thing is kind of dripping blood from its mouth but its head's dangling down so it's not gonna choke and die on 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 that so it's fine for now it's secure as best as you can make it and so i guess chad and elduin are carrying it because they are the closest in size to each other yep and they're the only ones who have any kind of strength one short guy one tall <laughs> guy carrying it, yeah. this thing and is dripping blood mm -hmm. unconscious and detussed okay yeah, sure. Chad just goes along with it. Like, okay. Okay. I don't know why we're doing this again. But yes, let's go off of the sub. Back to the yes, harbor too. front. Uh, yeah. Uh, com uh, commerce. <laughs> Union. All right then. I'm going up to the. Uh, wait, no, I can't go. Oh, before up to we the get guard. there, I want to pretty it up because you said it was still bleeding. Yeah, we should make it look nice. Well, it's, it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a short walk in between that here and there, so let's assume that that this is what you've done. It's um, as pretty as it's going to get. Yeah, so it, I'm, exactly. I'm, so let's put uh, you two together. So, so we're carrying uh, the sticks on our shoulders, right? Because it's yeah, heavy. Yeah, exactly. So, it's... So, I can, so in theory, I could wave to the guard, and, uh, guard without dropping the ball. Yep. You can. Okay. I'm yeah. waving to the guard and, be, uh, and say like, Hey, thanks for uh, thanks for the hint. We found some uh, some boar. Do you think he uh, your your boss would like red crusted boar without tusks? Why would like, you emphasize that, Eldred? For fuck's sake! Because it's already prepped for, uh, prepped for not killing him. What? What? Why? No, I I I specifically said you found anything interesting. A boar, when I told you there were boars bloody everywhere and their problem, what made you think that was interesting? So, to the butcher, it is. I think that's this probably a, a Wait. rare, tuskless, <laughs> red, red crested boar. The tusks are the best bit. Why, why would you want one without it? This is a, a very unique animal that would be fit for the finest menagerie. Uh, roll for persuasion. I'll 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 let you let you let you do that. Uh, I can't select the sheep for some reason. There we go. Oh. If you can't select it, just re uh, reload the page. Uh, beyond or roll twenty. Nine. Yeah. <laughs> I <Yikes>. know. Oh, <laughs> It just it just just shakes his head out of you. It's like like look, I don't know what your game is. But I think you lot better leave. That just lies. So it's like, all right, fellas, let's take this to the butchers, like Eldrin said. Yep. Meet for tonight. Let's go. Yeah, let's Agreed. find another way in there. <laughs> okay. So I guess you're heading. Are you heading back to uh, meet up with Cheese Lady? Okay. Yeah, we're going with Cheese Lady. Cheese lady. Uh, this thing is heavy, and we don't want it to rot. Okay, yeah, okay. it can't rot. It's still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. Still alive. <laughs> okay, good point. <laughs> but but it could I wake am, up. 
Yeah, I'm very, very, very interested in what D can make with that. Mm -hmm.